David, David Sale. My nephew was hit by a train. The videotape, we requested a videotape of that accident. Trimet refused to produce it. So they contacted my nephew's insurance company and paid for his car to be totaled and cut him a check and cut him loose. They paid the bill for the girl that was with him. Would they produce a videotape? to prove that he ran a red light, which they claimed, but they disregarded the testimony of the witnesses and said that uh, the train ran a red light. We got problems. This whole format here is uh, absurd. We've got Tom Walsh giving us his opinion of how things are when he's just directing this. He's directing the conversation. His opinion means nothing. It shouldn't. It should be directed towards input, gathering information, and then letting all of you as a group make an intelligent decision. I'm, de I'm discouraged. I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm all of those things. And I know you know why. Here we are five months after the most horrific crash in TriMet history. True spoken words from TriMet management. You folks know it. We know it. I live it. After that crash, we came aboard and pleaded to make changes in safety policies at TriMet. If you recall, I told you then, and I'll tell you all again now. I am not here to hurt you. I am, I am here to here help to hurt you. I am here to help you. Beyond some of those minor changes in routes, Beyond some of those minor changes in routes, up turns, and the development turns, of this task force, and the development of this task force, there's little that has been done to affect any done change whatsoever. To affect any change whatsoever. In my opinion, the changes that have been made in and done opinion, so far are an attempt to quiet the masses, nothing quiet more, the masses. nothing less, nothing more, nothing and make the less. public think that TriMet is taking safety issues, safety issues seriously. I know she's petrified I know to be an operator and hurt someone. To be an operator and I know someone. Sandy Day I know did not run my daughter. 
on purpose. On purpose. I know that. I know it for a fact. I know it for a fact. The day she did that. The day she did made that. that horrific mistake. Made that horrific mistake. And a series of mistakes. And a series of mistakes. She got a life sentence. She got a life sentence. You know that. I know that. You, you know especially that. know that. I know that. You especially Mr. Butler, know that. that's not here, knows that. Mr. Butler, that's not here, knows that. My grievance is not with the operators. My grievance is not with the operators. TriMet took the action Trimet of took firing the action. her. For what her. purpose? For what purpose? To get the attention away from them. To get the attention to blame away from it them. all on her. To blame it all on her. The facts are the facts, folks. The facts. Her are life facts, is folks. ruined right now. Her life. She's is ruined fired. Right now. She's, She's got nothing. Fired. She goes to bed with She's the thought. She, she wakes up with the thought. thought. She and, she up the thought. thought. and she eats every and meal with the thought. And says every prayer with the thought. She knows she killed my daughter. She knows she killed That's something I don't need to send the message to. That's something I don't need to send the message but to. But now she's been fired. But now she's she been has fired. no employment. She has no and, employment. And again, I haven't talked to the poor lady. And again, I haven't talked to the but poor lady. But why would you fire her? But why would you fire she her? She made a serious and horrific she mistake. She made a serious and horrific mistake. And you mistake. fire her? And you fire her? How is she supposed to pay the fines that she's going to get? And she's getting them. How is she going to pay for the circumstances and the consequences for running over and mowing over five people in a crosswalk? You tell me how, Tom. How is she going to pay for it? I don't know. In your is. corporate opinion, which I don't care about at this point, she'll never be able to pay for it without a job. Put her in an office. Help teach her how to do paperwork. Teach you to be an advocate for operators, surely. To go down to the lunchroom and talk to these guys and tell them, get rid of the attitude. Lose your attitude. You know, the passengers, they get great service. Question, there's no question about it. It's across the board. TriMet offers awesome service, awesome scheduling. They do the best that they can do for our handicapped public, our elderly public. They try and make changes here and there to accommodate everyone. But the one thing that they neglect is to give the operators the tools and to change their attitude. Because their attitude is, I drive a 40-foot bus, get out of my way. Because I've got passengers that are paying and I need to get where I'm going, or I'm going to get in trouble if I don't get there on time. I already know what the outcome is going to be of this, this task force. It's a joke. And I really apologize that you guys have had to waste your time with a bunch of fluff and stuff, because that's all it is. It's a public admission of there's a problem. But Mr. Sale, we want you to go away. We don't want to see your video. We don't want to see you talk about it. We don't want to hear your heartache. We're tired of hearing about it. And by God, I'm tired of living it. Can I ask you a question, David? And I would also David, go yeah. back to Sandy Day and talk about she, after she hit my daughter, she drug her 60 feet my daughter ended up in the wheel well of that bus. I was going to pr provide you folks with a video tonight of a dr bus driver running a person over in a crosswalk, doing the same speed she was, hitting a pedestrian, and by the time the, the pedestrian hit the ground, that bus was stopped. The front tires of that bus did not leave the two lines of that crosswalk. It wasn't five feet. It wasn't ten feet. It wasn't four feet. It stopped immediately. And if the driver saw the pe pedestrian, he wouldn't have hit her. He wasn't, his intention wasn't playing bumper cars. 
His intention was to get his passengers where they needed to go and be on schedule. Why she drove 60 feet, I don't know. Those are questions we need to ask. Those are the hard decisions. Those are the hard questions we need to know. Not are the the passengers getting hurt? No. The pedestrians are getting hurt. The bicyclists are getting hurt. The car drivers are getting hurt. The innocent people that aren't riding them are getting hurt. When is the last time a passenger on your vehicles have been killed? Due to an incident, a crash, whatever, whatever fluff and stuff you want to call that. They're crashes. Accidents, they're not supposed to happen. It wasn't supposed to happen. That's an accident. It's a crash. Pure and simple. And the neglect of this of this board, the same members are still not here again tonight. This is the second meeting I've been to. And I only see two, three, maybe, of the same people and the same faces. This isn't a big importance to them. If safety was such a big importance, every one of these seats would be filled. Yes, Roger. Dave, I, you know, I, I didn't know you until I got involved in this, or Darla. Um, but I, I'm sure I speak for all of us to say the obvious. I mean, there's no question we, anything we could do to help you guys, we'd love this to. This isn't you know, about me. I know it isn't. This so is about tomorrow. Here's the question. Here's the question. If you uh, were going to give us advice or direction on, say, two or three critical, fundamental things that need to change the TriMet, what would they be? The number one thing I would do would be to videotape or threaten to videotape every single driver. You put a camera in those buses that right now they don't do that because Mr. McFarland told me today and the rest of the board that he feels that it's an invasion of the driver's privacy. Okay, well, they're a public official driving a a public bus You have police officers that are being recorded. You have, let's, commercial pilots. I've been told that cameras that are everywhere on the bus yet are not directed towards the drivers. And there are no other monitoring devices to monitor the drivers. This is absurd. We know that. Commercial pilots' conduct is monitored by the cockpit voice recorder and by a flight data recorder. Locomotive engines are monitored by a data recorder akin to the, di- to the airline black box and are required to depress a device every 30 seconds or otherwise handle the train controls, brakes, throttle, reverse level horn to prevent the brakes, to prevent the train brakes from applying automatically and stopping the train. If they don't press that button every 30 seconds, that, that vehicle is stopped, period. ALPA, Airline Pilots Association, the BLE, Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers, the UTU, United Transportation Union, are strong unions, but these measures nevertheless exist to help ensure safety. At a bare minimum, TriMet could install an additional video camera recording, driver, recording a driver's behavior for the safety of passengers for the safety of the traveling public, pedestrians, and op- the operators themselves. Surely, if there was a, an aggressive person on your bus and they came up and hit you in the back of the head, would we have any notification of that? If he was the only one on your bus, how would we know that you got hit in the back of the head? How would we know that you didn't instigate it? How would we know that he didn't instigate it? We wouldn't know. No one would know, except for the bus crashing or something else horrific, God forbid, would happen. How would we know? We wouldn't. 